Okay, so everyone kind of loved the ask my coach what dive I should do right here, right now. So welcome back to Step, what dive should I do today? Okay, so we'll go far inward, which is back at the tower, moving forward, we're running. Everybody okay, running. let's do it. You are now uh, diving off of some of these incredible heights. People are terrified watching you do so. Talk about the journey going uh, from just like, I guess, jumping off the side to where you're 20 meters above the water. Yeah, absolutely. So I have actually been diving since 2008, I think, like regular diving, which goes up to 10 meter. And I graduated from Florida State University in May and kind of felt like I wasn't complete, you know? So I talked to my coaches and I said, have you seen Red Bull cliff diving? And they were like, wait, are you interested in it? And I was like, yes. So from there, we just kind of started contacting the right people. And then all of a sudden, Team Canada was like, um, let's move you to Montreal and start high diving. I was like, what? So in August, I started jumping off 20 meter and fell in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite the journey. And so yeah. Yeah, now you're up in Canada because I guess your eventual goal is to be doing uh, jumps off of cliffs or is it to be competitive in uh, some of the kind of upcoming Olympics or where are you heading? Yeah, so there's two like ways you can go. You can do both as well, which is kind of what I'm doing. So you can do cliff diving as well as um, high diving. So high diving will be in the Olympics very soon. Um, I believe it's going to be a like test event in 2024 and then real Olympics in 2028. So that's kind of the goal. Um, and then along the way, we'll do Red Bull cliff diving, do some professional extreme sport kind of things and just enjoy it. <laughs> and talk about some of your feelings and emotions as you creep toward the edge of the diving board. Uh, as so many of us <laughs> innately tense up, uh, you go right to the edge and jump over. Yeah, no, I think me and my coach, uh, Stefan Lapointe, we really work on only going up to the 20 meter if we're physically and mentally prepared, because you can be physically prepared all you want, but you step on that platform and you're 20 meters high, you're seeing people this small, you're like, I don't know if this is safe, right? So you just have to really know that your body's capable, but also that you're mentally ready for the dive. And then we just go up there and have some fun with it, you know? So, but we always take our time. Sometimes we just go up and visualize because there's some really scary dives that you don't just go up and throw yourself. So it's important to just go at the right pace and enjoy it. <laughs> I guess, I mean, but you've had some tough falls or has it, have you been pretty injury free? Yeah, I've had one slip up up there where I was just spinning way too fast and I was already vertical with 10 meters left to fall. And then what do you do, right? You're like, oh, I am bracing for impact. So you just get as big as you can to like limit rotation. And then I landed with like one foot in the air. It was not cute. <laughs> but overall, I um, didn't get hurt from that. I was because the water's so warm in a pool location where if that was outside I would have been game over but <laughs> now explain that so uh, that in a pool the water's warmer so it somehow makes the the fall a little more uh less impactful yeah absolutely so the colder the water the more it'll feel like cement unfortunately so as we travel the world and jump off these cliffs if the temperature is really cold then we're going to be like bracing for impact whereas where we're training now the Montreal Olympic Stadium is very much like a, a warm pool, never any waves, like very flat. So it's perfect for training, but then we're going to have to expose ourselves to distractions and stuff preparing for the Red Bull cliff diving event for sure. <laughs> Yikes, I didn't know that, but I'm going to just uh, <laughs> only dive in warm tropical waters from now on. <laughs> Yeah. In terms of kind of advice and guidance, obviously you now have thousands and thousands of people watching you as you do these dives and, and post them on social media. Uh, what's kind of your advice for people who might want to pursue this safely? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's fun because when I started this high diving journey, I started sharing it on TikTok. And then all of a sudden, people were freaking out at this jungle gym above the pool that I train at. And 
I'm at 2 million followers and all these people are like finally learning what high diving is. We're exposing the sport to so many people. And I think the interest of this sport is just growing on a daily. And I love that. So I get text messages or DMs all the time saying, how do I start? Like, how do I do this crazy sport? And then you just basically make sure that if they are to cliff dive or cliff jump, they know how to do it safely. You never want to jump into something you don't know what's underneath. So it's just like the basic rules that you want to really share with um, the society before they go and try things. But I think safety comes first. Never go to a height that you're not prepared for. Always start lower and build up, if that makes sense. It's not always the easiest when you don't have a pool available. Um, but yeah, if you're going to jump off cliffs, always swim underneath, use your goggles, see what's under there, and then have fun. <laughs> then you gotta just make the plunge. Well, yes. <laughs> incredible uh, work that you're doing. I guess last question, explain why there's such a jungle gym above the water there at your training facility. Yeah, so the Olympic Stadium was never built for high diving. So my teammate, Lisanne Richard, she started high diving back in 20, I can't remember the exact date, but she's been doing it for a couple of years now. And she asked the Olympic Stadium, like, hey, can we, there's like rafters up in the roof. Is it possible to put a little platform up there? Because this is kind of a sport, right? It was very new when she started. So everyone kind of looked at her like, why, you know? But now that it's becoming such a big deal and such a big sport, it's almost in the Olympics. Like it almost became like, okay, let's put a platform up there. Let's see. Let's be one of the we're one of two pools with a 20 meter platform indoors in the world like which is very very exciting I think the other one's in Russia but <laughs> yeah so setting that up there so that's why it's a jungle gym it's for the lights like there was no need for a platform to be up there so now we're walking with all like the electrical lights it's very safe don't worry but <laughs> but yeah it was never meant for high diving so I think it's it's really cool how we can just tweak the the environment to make it a high diving environment <laughs> yeah jumping from the light uh down to the depths and uh, yep. <laughs> i'm doing it so good to connect with you i hope you keep growing that following and inspiring others to take thank uh, you